Hi everyone and welcome to our tutorial for our uh, Baby Boys mini album. I wanted to get, just give you a quick uh, one minute overview of the form that I used in order to build this mini album. This is something that you can make at home, you don't need to go buy anything, this is this is the way it's, it's so nice to do because then that way you can just get to creating. Basically you're gonna need uh, just a few sheets of paper. How this works is, this is three simple sheets of paper. Our front cover is five and three quarters wide by six and three quarters tall. Our center is six and three quarters square. And our back cover is five inches by six and three quarters. So you do those three sheets and you need some spines here obviously. And each of these spines is one and a half inches by six and three quarters, so it's the full distance. And then you score at a half an inch. So then that way when it's folded together, and you need two of these, obviously. And that way when it's folded together, you end up with a half inch spine. You have a half inch to glue onto this and, and to glue onto the back as well. So that's how it ends up. Now we're gonna end up magnetizing this or, or putting that together in there and showing you the full finished one and I'll explain everything as it's finished. I'll explain how I did, you know, placed each thing on. But that's the basic album form. So you can make that out of cardstock, uh, the bristle board, uh, you can use that. an old cereal box, you can use whatever you want, but since it's the cover, you want something a little thicker so that that way you're going to have some uh, a real sturdy cover to it. I'll be back shortly with the finished project. And here's the finished project. What a great mini album. This turned out so well. I'm really happy with the results of this and hopefully you'll see this too. So obviously with this, with this mini album, we used our Panda Paws Boys bundled collection. So I've used bits and pieces from everything in it. Our FQB, our Little Bits Elements pack, our two paper pack, all that kind of stuff. So uh, if you're looking to create this one yourself, that's the kit to purchase. So on the front cover, uh, the beautiful little background with the sweet little bears and all kinds of different little uh, patterned papers in the little squares here. Just a great, gives it a great little bit of life. And the items on the front here, the uh, cluster here that you see with the bear and in, here in the, in the uh, bulrushes and stuff like that, this actually comes to you complete. Now I added the heart in behind it and printed it as one item so that that way it was easier to adhere down rather than having so many items. I mean, good idea, bad idea. You know, I, I kind of looked the way it, like the way it turned out, but as well as sweet little man on this tag here, again, that comes to you complete. All you do is resize it to fit your uh, project. You print it, you cut it, you're off to the races. Now the last thing on the front is you see this bow here and that I added the bow comes in the FQB kit, the, the Panda Paws Boys kit, and I added it onto the paper before I printed it, and looking at it, I probably should have added it as a, uh, a separate element and, and cut it out. Uh, I think it would have probably done it better justice, even if it was just glued on flat. But hey, that's how things work when you do things. Some, uh, some things work out, some things don't, and then we hopefully learn from our mistakes and don't keep repeating them, right? So obviously on each of the spines here, I have a nice, uh, lined paper to match as well as on the back here. I use the gorgeous quilted pattern paper now that quilted pattern paper is phenomenal It is it is just a, a great useful paper. There's so, all the colors of it are picked up So you have so much to pair with it. it it's a terrific paper to use the cluster of hello to you including this big bear so take these two little guys out that is all one cluster and then each of these little bears were separate ones and I thought I'd add them in at the background just as a little bit smaller, give it a little bit more uh, appeal. And again, I printed this, I layered that onto the paper, which is easy to do. You'll see that in our other videos of, of how to create your first scrapbook layout, how to create your first card, things like that. You can use simple, easy programs like Microsoft Word or MS Paint, or you can be using full, uh, graphics programs such as GIMP or Photoshop Elements or things like that. This is a super easy thing to do. You basically just add a paper, add the image, and there it is. And then when you go to print, it prints it all as one. It's, it's a very easy thing to do, so don't be daunted by it. But I liked how it turned out, and I wanted it printed on there. I didn't want it even pasted on just with, with glue, because as a back, you slide it around. I don't want things to, to get caught or torn or things like that. 
So I did magnetize this, so that way there is a little magnet in here, and here we are in the inside. Now let's make sure we're in frame, there we go. Uh, a great mini album that gives you so much. So starting over on the inside cover here, this, actually let's flip back for a sec, let's have a look at this part of the inside cover. Uh, again, a, a wonderful simple background paper, that's the, the joy and the, the allure of these kits, is there's so many different papers that you can go to something that's a little more elaborate, you can go to something that's a little more simple and embellish a little more elaborately, whatever you want to do, there's lots of options in there. This strip back here is actually a ribbon uh, that comes in the kit. All I did was just resize it so it would fit on my paper, actually, and then just trimmed it on the ends here. I didn't actually even resize it for, for width-wise. I just trimmed it so it would fit, fit on here. These two tags, again, come complete to you, already done exactly as you see them. I didn't do anything to them. They come to you right in uh, the bundled collection, and all you have to do is, again, resize them so that they are the appropriate scale for, for what you're doing on here. And I just glued them down, and same thing with Bear Hugs to You. Uh, a tag that already comes complete to you in the little bits, uh, Panda Paws Boys, and you can simply just adhere that down. Now, again, I just glued these down. I didn't put them up on any foam sticky dots or give them any raisedness just with it closing up. I didn't want anything to get kind of hooked on there. So again, on the inside here, starting over here, um, again, because there are so many papers, like there are so much, there's so much to use in here. I wanted to go with this as my main background paper, and I thought, ah, oh, man, I like this one too. How can I incorporate this one? And this was my idea: is I just printed, you know, one of each, and then just cut it at the corner. I, th I thought it gave it a really nice look. Plus, it always, it also doubles as I made a pocket out of it. So that way you can slide in something in here, whether that be a photo, whether that be a journaling area. Uh, that you write a, a nice little slip of paper, what, whatever you want to do, this gives you a nice little area to put that in there. Now to further embellish this page, this very cute uh, cluster came as one, and then I added the hearts in behind again and printed it as one element uh, so that I had a full, nice big full area there. And the ribbon there is, you can't really tell, but this dark blue along the bottom, that is a ribbon. And you can kind of see it on the end here, what it fully looks like, as well as this one going up here. Again, the ribbons are great things that come in all our kits, and if you haven't used them before, these are some great uses. It just dresses up a little bit of the area. That's always kind of what we're looking for, is how can I embellish this area? What do I have for little elements or buttons or tags or whatever? Eh, that's a little too much, it makes it too busy. The ribbons give you such color and such punch all I did was, again, scaled it down a little bit in terms of size. Most things, to give you a rough idea, just a rough idea, if I'm scaling them down, it's somewhere in the neighborhood of about 25%. So yeah, that way you can easily see and, and easily have a, a baseline when you're doing this. But I just glued all these down and again, left this area unglued so that way it completes the full pocket there. But um, I, I, I thought it turned out really cute and gives you such a useful pocket over here. On this side over here, this whole uh, element is one element that comes into you into the FQB. It has the branch already, it has the panda already on it. Easy to do. Again, resized it just to fit this page because a lot of times our elements are made fairly large. Uh, I just resized it to fit the page, put it up on some of the foam stick dots as well as these two uh, little squares. Again, completely done for you. I did not design those. Mary Friend does all the hard work for us in, in terms of that. I just scaled it to fit my size and cut it, put it up on some foam dots, and it's the same thing with Beyond Adorable. That comes to you exactly as you see it in the kit. You just simply scale it down. Now, when you're scaling it down, obviously, um, you know how to scale it, how far to scale it down because... When you put your, if you're using, as an example, if you're using MS Word or Paint, you can actually turn on the rulers so you know that this is six and three quarters tall. So you already, when you turn on the rulers, they appear on the sides of your page, sides of your page. Here we go, that way you'll be able to see it. So if this was a blank white page on your screen, the rulers will appear here from zero to 11 and from zero to eight and a half if you're using a, uh, a US size paper. 
So you know if okay, my page is six and three and six and three quarters tall, and it's you know uh, this one. I sorry, I don't remember the exact size of this. Um, say this is four inches wide, or I'm sorry, I think it was five inches wide. Um, you know, okay, there's my working area. So when you scale something down, you you have a rough idea. So it's it's super easy to do. I, I, I again, I don't want you to be daunted by it. Lastly, on this side, you can see I used a nice, a very cool squares paper. And again, I wanted to dress it up. I wanted to use, add a little bit more lightness in it. So I just simply printed out one of these papers as well. And I thought, you know, a nice gentle curve would go kind of neat in there. Just something, you know, just any shape. We all have lots of, you know, even if you have the, the pinking shear scissors, you know, you can do all kinds of things with it just to give it a little more life, a little bit more interest. The center page here, obviously I backed it with the floral that comes in the FQB, a gorgeous, gorgeous floral pattern. It gives it such uh, warmth and, and, and stuff to the, to the project. But this actually comes in several different colors in the kit. So if you wanted to go to a different color palette, there is several of these. And in the center here, I wanted a fold out piece. I wanted a lot of area for pictures. It is a mini album. We want to put pictures in here. And so in making this, I'll just open this up here. Here we go. So there's my ribbon, which I glued down first onto the page and then, and then placed this in here. This, let me just move this up to get into screen. Each page, I just used one paper as well as a uh, tag or something to, to uh, just give it a little bit of something else for embellishing. And then I only pasted down half of it so that way you can slide a picture in there and, and hold that in there as well as, as you can glue it down there. So this actually opens up into an accordion, and I'll show you each of these pages here. So there's page one. Page two is our smile, okay? Uh, nice little flower cluster. The smile tag comes to you complete, as does the flower cluster. So each of those, again, scaled it, print it, cut it, glued it down, that was it. Because we're on the inside of this, I didn't wanna use foam dots or give any raised layer to it. I just wanted it to be kind of flat. And in each of these things, again, I left that unglued so that that way you can slide a photo in there very easily. The next page here, page three. This one I wanted maybe a little more elaborate, right? Give you something a little extra. You've got a couple things going on here. The button up in the top, again, if you don't have never used the buttons, what a great way to use it. It gives it such an appeal. And I've left a little bit of it undone, uh, unglued, so that way you can actually put your photo in there. Same thing with this tag down here. This is unglued here, so you can slide a photo in there and have it held in there if you didn't want to glue it down necessarily. As well, I have a pull-out tag. So you can write the name on it, the date, where you were, whatever it was, you have a pull-out tag in order to give you a, a journaling area for, for memory. Page four, here we go, let me make sure. Yep, page four, I'm in, in screen there. Very happy day. Again, a great background paper, simple. Uh, you know, this is kind of, the plaid kind of reminds me of something like they'd have a onesie or something like that. Very warm feeling, right? And how I dressed this one up was I used another paper, okay? I just cut a strip of that paper, some of my leftover from some of my other stuff, to be honest with you, and made a belly band out of it. So that way you can slide something in here, whether that's a photo, whether that's a journal card, a special note that you wrote in, whatever it is you wanted. And I simply embellished it with the bow that comes in the kit, the tag which comes complete in the kit, and a very happy day saying. So again, all these come complete. I didn't do anything. I just simply resized them so they'd fit, cut them out, pasted them on. And lastly, page five here. Uh, I just, again, the same thing with the love you tag is pasted only partially down. Same thing with this square, beautiful tag in the corner. So that way you could have a photo that you could join into that. You could have a photo down here. You could have a journaling card down here, whatever it is that you wanted, whatever you had, a, had an idea for. Um, this gives you the ability to paste those in. And these two items, again, come to you fully done. Just resize, print and cut, and paste down. That's super easy to do. And lastly, the background paper, the the beautiful leaves, it, it's such a rich color, and as you can see, it all blends so nicely together. Mary Fran has taken so much great pains to get the colors just right, so that everything blends so seamlessly. It just ends up turning out so well. 
all because of, of uh, what she's done for us in order to, to choose those things. So folks, that's it. That's the mini album. It is really a, a fun project to do and what a useful project are as well. If you have a baby boy in your life, uh, whether that be a son, a grandson, a new baby coming, with friends, whatever it is, boy, this is something that will be a treasured memory album in order to keep. Thanks for tuning into our video. Before you leave, if you go down to the right-hand side of the screen there, you'll see our Network Collections logo. Please click on that to subscribe to our channel so you'll be made aware of whenever new videos are, are come out, whether that be projects, whether that be new kit releases that we show you each and every individual item so you'll, you really get the full scope of what's in that. And give us the thumbs up and leave us a comment on this video if you'd like. Let me know if I went through something too quickly or you had a question about something. Or let me know if you're going to make one of these. And, and, and like, you know, let's, let's talk, tell me about some of the ideas that you have for this kit. Thanks again for tuning into our video. I hope that you'll now take a trip over to our store to have a look at this Panda Paws Boys collection. It also does come in a girls collection which is identical other than like all the, the papers and the elements are identical other than they'll be in the pinks for the girls. Um, uh, they're terrific collections to work with if you have a baby in your life. Thanks again and happy crafting.